What up? Shauna Don here. Good morning. Good morning. We're off on another adventure. And believe it or not, even though we're in the truck, this is this event or this what trip that we're going on right now is a trip type that got us kicked out of a local van Facebook group. Mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. you watch that video, um, you've got a lot of watches. We are troublemakers, we're obviously. Not, we're not really. Um, we're going to explain <laughs> how this trip type was later and a little bit about the back end details. We're still not going to tell you anyone's names though. So you curious people, not names, but for now we're going to get on the road and see what we see. We're out here exploring and that's really cool. It's literally carved in that rock here. Found lots of cool places, but nothing for the van meetup yet. Well, we found two for the van meetup, that's possible, but we're still looking. More to come. Beautiful. Right. quick lunch spot here Donald and I my brother-in-law Donald came here and found this spot earlier it's along the route here it's right on a creek you can tell people have been here before yeah it's beautiful not okay for van camping actually you can bring the vans down here just fine but not enough for what we're trying to do 
and a little bit too much trees for my liking. But check it out, it's beautiful. They're pretty. Yeah, they're really pretty. Yeah. I mean, you could see why <laughs> people have come down here and made it. And hung out, yeah. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Really beautiful. Beautiful right here, but we'll be whoop out. You know what doesn't suck? Coming out and exploring your back country and then finding this. <laughs> Check that out. Oh, beautiful. The Tacoma is all dirty. Thank God that we have the uh, mill spec on because it's been pinstriped quite a bit, but we're finding some awesome places mm -hmm. here. Wow, really pretty.
How we do? Messy head, great night's sleep here. This beautiful river bar. So I'm kind of walking up here because I said we're gonna tell you a little bit more about what happened on that trip that got us kicked out of a Facebook group here. And uh, why am I gonna tell you more? Well, first off, some of the other ambassadors that were on that trip apparently got kicked out um, as well. And um, they weren't going to have it the same way I was, where I was going to be uh, not with details. And they basically released all the details and all the groups that are there. So I'm not going to tell you um, anything that hasn't been said. And you'd have to know a lot of particulars to uh, piece together what this is. So here's the basics. So we were out scouting on this trip, um, this trip right here that we're on right now, for a van meetup. And our hope with these van meetups is just to come out here and meet cool people in vans and maybe we go do a little exploring maybe we sit in a place for a bit and just hang out and and visit and um and we found that the van community is just really cool people right so they're fun to hang out with and fun to recreate with and so we were thinking in this other group which has like six thousand, i think members and it's listed as a pnw group that's specific to a certain type of van so i'm not going to tell you what that is um and it's not a model van by the way and uh well technically it is a model van but it's not like a rv model van so anyways um give me away too many details um so anyways i early spring i posted in that group anyone looking for a you know coming out here and doing like a little van meetup a little rally out here um let me know um, if depending on how many people are interested, I'll throw out some date. Cool. Totally going to be a free event just to hang out and do things. I, I get a ton of responses from a lot of people saying, would love to do it, would love to do it. Oh yeah, count me in, count me in, count me in. Probably at least 30 responses. And uh, so I was like, awesome, okay, I'll start working on dates. Well, then the site owner of that group who I didn't realize this is their life mission to be an event planner who tries to capitalize on people, and you know you do, um, saw that. And it's my opinion that he thought, oh, revenue opportunity here. And ha happens to say, well, I was going to do a meetup on the Olympic Peninsula. And I was like, oh, cool. Um, not wanting to step on your toes. If you want to do that, go for it right i don't care let's just meet up i was assuming he was going to do something free um or very low cost right and well organized so and if you come on to olympic peninsula and if you're going to do anything out here you better be prepared and organized so after that months go by with nothing people are asking on that same comment hey any details on this because if you're going to respect people especially during the summer you better give them enough lead time to know what date they need to reserve you know people start planning out stuff after months and months and months i think it might have gotten to june now <laughs> still no date that that person said i'm working on it date forthcoming i'm like well finally at least there's something and i'm not committed and i'm going to go anymore because now there's no specific details so then I would go to the Mercedes uh, dealership here to get some van work done. I happened to run into this individual. And I'm like, hey, what's going on with the Olympic Peninsula thing? And he's like, oh, I'm looking for details, still trying to figure that out. Well, first of all, that's a big red flag for me because you're trying to organize something with a lot of vans. And if you don't have it all figured out now, I don't know how you're going to figure it out because once again, it's the Olympic Peninsula, it's summer, it's like a primary destination spot. 
So I said, well, if you're interested, I can list all these places that you should do a drive on. We can start down in this area. I highlighted all the points of the Olympic Peninsula. I know this area very well, right? And so I live here. I recreate here all the time. So I said, if we're going to do vans, you would want to go this way. We'd want to end here, blah, blah, blah. All the details. He's writing it all down feverishly. I'm like, yeah, you stay here. We can go on a beach drive here. Um, this point, there's no camping there, but this would be a good spot to look for camping if you're kind of, you know, try to find a host. Um, the next day we can go here. We could stop here, which would be great with all the waypoints, by the way. Right, 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 right. It's all my intellectual property, just so you know. It's my stuff that I've kind of built out as my trip of doing stuff. And so I was like, cool, let me know if you need further details. So then he uh, says, can I have your number? Give him the number. Awesome. He starts messaging me and he's not organized. He's not an organized person. You could tell just by talking to him that he's not an organized person. He lacks uh, attention to details on things. And I, I, want, I want this to be a success, so I'm trying to help, right? <laughs> so I, I would give him more details, give him more details, give him more details. Well, finally, um, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna have you be one of my, my ambassadors. Cool, I don't know what that means, but I'll be one of your ambassadors if I'm gonna come on the trip. Then he starts messaging me going, would you mind taking some photography for me? Awesome, yeah, I don't mind doing some photography. I love doing that stuff for myself, so, you know. I'll do some stuff, no details, no, no, hey, I'm gonna pay you for this, right? Just, would you mind doing this? Yeah, I don't mind doing some of that stuff. And then he goes, um, you know, for being, uh, doing all this work, I'm gonna give you a free sweatshirt for, you, for uh, your wife, right? And then he's asking me, have I registered? Have you registered yet? He kept on messaging, have you registered? Nah, I'll get to it, I was on a trip. Well, I didn't realize that it was gonna cost money. I didn't realize it was gonna cost that money. So I want to go register. Don and I, 850 bucks. And I looked at her and I'm like, I've told him all this stuff. What the hell, seriously, $850, should we do this? And she's like, well, we just wanna meet cool people, so let's just do it and you know, we'll see what happens. I'm like, ugh, this seems like a lot of money to pay to just go in my backyard um, and all the things that I know what to do that I've told this guy how to do. Um, so $850 later, and I'm an ambassador. Well, it turns out that all the other ambassadors that he kind of coaxed into this got like a discount, like half off. The guy never said anything to me. He's like milking me. He's, he's a con artist. He's a snake oil salesman. That's who you are. You're a snake oil salesman. And um, you knew what you were doing wasn't right. You knew what you were doing was wrong, but you just kept on doing it. And if you would have asked for help, at any time during that trip, if you would have been just a leader and said, hey, I messed up, can you please help? I would have been like, yeah, sure, what do you need? But you just kept on not doing it. It was so frustrating. And so meanwhile, all these other people that paid good money, they're asking for help, right? They're asking for something to be saved on this trip, which I got voluntold to do by the other ambassadors. All this starts coming out, you know, afterwards. This is all hindsight stuff. Then, do you know what the guy did afterwards? After all this stuff, and there's a lot more detail to this. You know what he did afterwards? After he kicked us out, then he sends me a text message three different times asking me if he is going to get the photos. And I was thinking, I don't know if he actually realizes what he has done. Does he realize he kicked me out? Does he realize I know he kicked me out? Like, how, how do you come at me like, asking for these photos. You haven't paid for them. You haven't done anything for these stuff. I have to meet with Mercedes and I want to show off. That's basically what you want to do. You want to show off for the work that you didn't do, right? I, I don't like people like you. Be honest. So anyways, after the third one, I didn't reply because he kept on doubling down. Really, Sean, you're not going to do this? Really? I wrote him a long rep message and I kind of highlighted all these things that I just highlighted for you. And I said, then the next thing I know, you kicked me out of the group and now you're messaging me for this. I haven't heard from him since, thankfully. But that's the details on it. And I'm like, I don't want to really talk about it. We're going to go have a trip next week with these people that are in our new group. This is what we wanted. We just want to hang out with people. We don't want to capitalize on people. Right? There's too much of that in this world already. So we just want to hang out with cool people. 
you want to capitalize on those people and that's a totally different thing so with that that's what it is gang so sorry i got a little heated just remembering that check out this spot though it's beautiful all right all right we better get cleaned up because we got a lot of work to do before next week's meetup out here Sean and Don here. We are wrapping up this weekend adventure. All right, we we have a plan now for next week's van meetup. That can change, actually. Probably <laughs> so, will. Probably will. We're gonna go with the flow, depending on how many people show up. We are trying to keep it at 10 vans or under. Um, if we're around five to six vans, we got one spot to go. For more than that, we're probably gonna go to second option. Second option. But we're going to have fun regardless. You ought to see that video next. Um, remember to like and subscribe if you, you enjoy this stuff. Don and I make videos uh, every week just sharing our life experience and just how we do things out in life. So if you find it entertaining, that's awesome. And she's sometimes funny. I'm sometimes all the time funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm always funny. Yeah. Maybe not. Well, until next time, gang. I hope we see you on the trails. <laughs>